Hey everyone, so tonight we're doing a review on the Marvel Legends Jean Grey from the X-Men 3 pack. So first off, we'll go ahead and check out her extra head, and then we'll go ahead and go over the details. Alright, so looking at the interchangeable head, this is the head that I will definitely be uh, having her posed with. I think this is a very cool head sculpt. This definitely reminds me of how I remember always seeing her. Uh, so that's definitely why I'll be using this head sculpt. But it's got a nice uh, dark blue coming over her face, and it's painted pretty clean. I mean, I don't see any of the blue kind of bleeding into her face there, which is most important. A little bit. Let me get a little closer. It's a little bit on the ears there. You guys can see. There's a little nick right there at the bottom of the chin, but overall, not too bad. Eyes are looking straight on, which looks nice. We got some red lips, and then overall, it looks pretty good. I'm just glad the eyes are looking straight on. <laughs> but then she does, jeez, I'm sorry. Does have a ponytail there. You can see a little blue uh, band right there on the back of her head. And overall, it's just got this nice uh, red hair. Looks good. All right, we'll go ahead and check out Jean Grey. All right, so Jean Grey with her hair down looks pretty cool. I really do like it. Um, she's got kind of, you can see it's a different, definitely a different head sculpt than the first one that we got during the rocket raccoon wave i believe uh, you can see some of her teeth showing right there with her red lips her eyes are looking straight on with the blue around the face which looks good none of it's bleeding over and she just has her long red hair down looks good and it's a pretty firm so you're not going to be able to you know move it out of the way too much and she does have really nice dark blue on her uniform there you can kind of see some of it a straight you know line on this side or on the side it's kind of bubbling over but it is definitely a darker yellow um than um, the first release and she's got the little red i mean the <laughs> blue band here and blue uh, gauntlets on the sides and along with the x-men lo uh, logo right there on the front looks good got clean pretty clean there's some red blemishes there and some of the black kind of not quite straight on but overall it's not too sloppy or anything like that and it's kind of a glossier blue on the belt and then the blue continues down the front and we could have the or the darker yellow. We've got some gold paint applications on the side of the legs here. And it just continues with that darker yellow plastic. She does have two open hands, which is nice for her, you know, kinetic powers. I think that's good. It's not, uh, doesn't really bother me. Sometimes so many of the female figures have open hands, but with her, it doesn't really bother me at all. All right, so getting our articulation, she looks left and right just fine. Up and down's pretty hard just because her hair weighs so much. Uh, it's not going to happen because her hair is too long. Uh, she has a ball joint in the shoulders to move out, forward, back, up, out, <laughs> forward and back. Sorry, I am tired. Uh, it's got an elbow bend, also a swivel at the elbow. Got a uh, wrist rotation, also a hinge at the wrist. Got ball joints in the upper body. It's going to rotate all around and forward and back. So forward's not too, eh, not too bad. Back's okay. And she can kick up pretty far. Spread, not so much. Uh, upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, no boot rotation, ankles move down and up. Sorry, it's just very firm. Uh, and rock side to side, along with peggles upon her feet. I'll go to show you her with her alternate head, which I will probably leave it on then. All right, so here she is with her alternate head, which I think looks awesome. This looks so cool. And you can see the back of the figure a little more. Very cool. All right, I'll show you guys how tall Jean Grey is. All right, guys, so Jean Grey stands about six inches tall, and here she is next to the Hit Monkey, not, jeez, Rocket Raccoon Wave Jean Grey that we got many years ago. Um, you can see it's actually a different head sculpt. You can see she's just more of a straight face, more of a pearl eye. Sorry, mine's kind of dusty. I should have dusted her off. But you can see even we got a different head sculpt here. I'm trying to see, yeah. But it's more of a pearlized uh, blue on the figure, whereas this one's just a different dark blue. You can definitely tell it's a different upper body. Her shoulders actually have some like line work on them, where this is just more smooth out. Same belt, uh, same gauntlets. Got the one open hand with painted nails. No painted nails on her, and a fisted hand. Open hand. But overall, it's the same legs. Actually, nope. Bigger pouches. Right there, I thought it was the same leg. So we have bigger pouches there. Otherwise, everything else looks it looks the same. Just kind of a retooled 
uh, Jean Grey. I definitely do like this one more. This one's very shiny. Um, I don't know. Leave in the comments. Which one do you guys prefer? Do you prefer the new three pack? I mean, the alternate head did it for me. <laughs> or do you prefer the Rocket Raccoon Wave? Let me know. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I think it's a great Jean Grey. I think it's definitely an improvement. Uh, could they have done a little bit more maybe with the articulation? Yes. Um, but overall, it's not too bad. And I do really like this uh, pulled back hair in the ponytail head sculpt. Anyways, I'm tired and I'm rambling. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave a comment, hit the like button, and definitely give me a follow on my Instagram at Davey B's Action Figure Reviews. And I will talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye.